Good morning, everybody. It is 545 here in Meyer, Arizona. I do not want to work today. Mondays are the worst days for us, but uh, we gotta go do an inspection and get rolling out of here. So let's go do that. All right, guys, everything looks good. Um, we're gonna roll out of here. We've got one hour to drive, and I'm hoping we get Pavestones. Pavestones is right across the street from here. So the best thing that could happen is we get the Lunas load, and then we go get Pavestones right across the street that goes to like NorCal or something like that. I'm hoping, but bet money, we're probably going to CMC Steel. So that's where we always go, but uh, hoping for Pavestones. So, we're all here guys and we'll see you in phoenix arizona let's go What's up guys, uh, we're here in Tolleson. Sorry I was on the phone, I didn't pull in here. But uh, got fuel, uh, our next load I'm gonna pop it up. I had to get out of there, it was pretty tight. So I don't wanna mess with trying to get out of there. Um, we're gonna head to Yucca, those pipes that last time I picked up, where I only had like four bundles last time. Super easy load. So we're going back to that place and uh, we're delivering in Chula Vista, California. So I might be able to make it to Chula. I don't know yet. Uh, once I get to Yucca, I'm going to look at it, but I've just been going, going, going. Got fuel, got food, went pissed, kept going. Uh, I'll look at that stuff once we get there. So uh, we'll see you guys in Yucca. It's about three and a half hours. What's up guys, we're here on the 93. Still two and a half hours away. Man, I hate this 93. There's always something going on here. Like, always something going on here. Accidents, construction. I hate taking this 93. There's always something going on here, so. Uh, at this rate, man, we're not get there until about like 1.30. I don't know how long this backup is for, but we'll see. I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated, but this is why I hate taking this 93. All right guys, I don't have a lot of battery, but we finally made it to the accident scene. Big accident. Uh, it was only about 35, 40 minutes worth of traffic. We're getting out of here. Everybody's got to look. So we're slowing down. But once we get past this and everybody stops looking, we can go. I just don't get how we get in accidents here. I just don't get it. Don't get it. All right, well, hoping now get there by 1.30. So I'll probably see you guys there. What's up everyone? We're here in Yucca, Arizona, exit 25. You can exit 26, just a mile back. Uh, or you can exit 25. I always take 25, but maybe one day I'll take the 26. Exit and see what the difference is. Google says they're both the same ETA and there's no traffic lights, but I like this exit. I hope there is no lie, because all I see is two trucks inside. There's no trucks waiting, hopefully not.
go check in. When you're here at Westlake, they're gonna have, make you watch a video. You're gonna get a card like this. Make sure you guys hold on to it and take a picture of it because if you do lose it, at least have a picture of it on your phone. She'll like me recording, so I'm gonna go check in right now, but make sure you guys have the card. All right, guys, we finally got pulled in here after like 45 minute waiting. Uh, we'll get our two hour split in. So probably gonna do a split, we'll see. More likely will. I love splits. Uh, but we'll see we'll call these guys it looks like a construction site because my uh address on my load assignment is cross streets and no address so we'll see when we get our bills and i'll call the construction guy if he wants it early morning we'll split it if he wants it later we'll take a 10. we'll see pretty windy but you guys can see I got my tarps up there, so that's holding it. Got four on top, two bellies, perfect. Six straps, same thing here, four on top, and two bellies. Pretty simple load, easy load, guys. Pretty simple, you see that? Voice. Don't like that, but they're all banded, so I don't know, <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, four, six, same thing here. I'm gonna put a bungee on that one. I just want to check, make sure the tarps are good up there. I don't want those to fall. Looks really good. All right, guys, we're going to roll out of here. Uh, we're doing the split sleeper. You guys watch a lot of my videos. I keep saying it. Why do I always get my paperwork checked? <laughs> I'm here again in the California to get my paperwork checked. Man. Thank you. All right, guys, we're here on the 78. You can see the sunset. Uh, I love coming down the 78, dumps you right off onto the eight. Uh, we're gonna hit that uh, Acorn Casino for the night. So we're still about probably another hour away. Just wanna show you guys how beautiful it is out here. It's a desert. And all these mountains are like rocks stacked on top of each other. But it's really beautiful here. And peaceful. What's up everybody? We're here at the Golden Acorn Casino. Right here off the eight. I really love coming here. It's one of my favorite casinos. And I don't get a big a chance to get here. Uh, showers are really good. The parking will never run out unless the freeway's closed. <laughs> and the food's pretty good. So, if you guys ever get a chance, uh, especially here in Central Oregon, you guys will pick up a lot of sheetrock. And if you time it right, you might be able to stay here. And then you're only 60 minutes away from uh, San Diego. So from here, I'm 60, exactly 60 miles uh, to Chula Vista, so. All right, so the second left, you'll see the truck parking area right here. Travel center, second left. Uh, I'm gonna pull into the fuel island. I'm gonna get this windshield clean. I hit a sea of, of bugs. So I did wash my windshield um, when we got fuel at um, Tolleson and this whole windshield is covered. I thought I was, uh, I thought it was raining. Good morning, everybody. It is 510 here at the Golden Acorn Casino. Uh, our eight hour split just turned over and we just went on duty. So we're gonna do our inspection right now. I'm tired, but go get some coffee and we will roll out of here. So let me go do my inspection. All right, everything looks good out there. Look at my hair. 
this is the longest my hair's ever been <laughs> but i am going to get a cut this saturday i need it really bad so um i did plan out how to get in here so i have an idea uh to take broadway it's uh in a mall entrance so there is uh, a center lane so if they have the gate closed to get in there and they're not there there's a center divider lane so uh, I should still be there by 6 30 I told them uh, 6 30 7 o'clock so uh, we'll see if they're there um, but yeah everything's good I got my monster I'm gonna get rolling out here guys so we can get there by 6 30 hopefully there's no traffic uh, Chula Vista can get pretty bad. It's a big city, so uh, I'm trying to get in there before all the traffic. So let's roll out of here, and we'll see you guys in Chula Vista. Let's go. What's up, everyone? We are here in Chula Vista. This is the guy's job site right here. That's the gate. All right, let me straighten out and back up. Uh... So I'm gonna pop this up on satellite, guys. So if you look, this used to be a big ass mall right to your right. So that's crazy. I'm gonna back up a little bit and get situated for that gate. I was thrown off because I was like looking for a mall. That's right here. All right, guys, we're getting unloaded. Um, I just got our next load uh, pre plan uh, Just got it before I even unstrapped. Uh, we're going to that place in Santa Ana where we got those bags where they make you tarp outside of the warehouse. So my plan is to get down there and do my two hour break because it's going to take that long. About to load the strap, uh, the tarp and all that. Uh, we're just headed down the street. So um, 300 some miles. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty good load. Uh, we should be there in eight. It says it's like nine hours from here. So to get there is an hour and a half. And then uh, I don't remember what the, the city is. I don't have it on me right now, but I'll pop it up over here. Um, so it's not too far. Looks like we're just gonna be bouncing up and down the five uh, for the next couple of days. So I was hoping for a little longer load, maybe up to like Oregon that I could have delivered on a, uh, Wednesday afternoon and it got a load up there and it came right back down or like North Cal but it is what it is guys they're just gonna hop me up and around this i5 corridor so uh, this guy's almost done I'm gonna get rolling out of here and then uh, we'll see you at uh, Santa Ana California guys we're here in Santa Ana California 1010 we are here make a ride 
Last time I was here, I took the other way because I was coming from that side, from home time. I've been taking this way. We're on uh, Dyer. I'm gonna make a rat into it. We're gonna take our two hour break here. So even if it's a little busy, uh, they're pretty quick here, so. Uh, if they're a little busy, it's okay. I got time. Uh, I'm gonna give these guys a call and see if we can stay the night there. Should be only about six hours, I think, drive. Like two. This Right, guys we've been waiting for 45 minutes so far so he's just putting four pallets on that milton driver so i got me some chick-fil-a i always get their uh, spicy chicken sandwich add bacon but i wanted to try this maple one so i always get bacon and a spicy chicken sandwich uh i get pepper jack cheese and kobe jack cheese on it my hair's a mess and then if you guys go to chick-fil-a i think they're called like sun joys it's lemonade, sweet tea, and then if you add a strawberry syrup in it, it's so good. And then I always get, this is the best shake ever in the world, is their peach shake. This is the best shake. <laughs> so um, this is their last week. And if you guys know, I love banana pudding. And uh, this is the last week for the peach because they're bringing banana pudding in. So I'm looking forward to that next week. <laughs> I love Chick-fil-A, guys. It's my favorite, favorite food out here so but in california it's really expensive uh just for a meal now is like 16 18 dollars now for a chick-fil-a it's wild dude so wild how expensive everything's gotten even when i went home chipotle was like 16 to 17 dollars i'm like so you guys wish for those 20 dollar minimum wage and this is what you're getting <laughs> it's so stupid so it is what it is guys uh all right you guys here's a tarp load it's pretty good uh, I put a couple bungees down here at the bottom D-ring just to hold it down. Uh, tents don't want to come up. The back, I kind of pulled it a little too far forward, but it looks pretty good. The sides, this barely covers six foot, <laughs> barely. But you see I put some D-rings at that bottom one right there just to kind of hold in place. Looks good. The backs are covered, everything's covered. Well, uh, let's roll out of here, guys, and uh, we'll see you uh, probably in a lot of steals for our fuel. What's up guys? Guess where we're going to fuel? We're on 5 North, past the grapevine. Can anybody take a guess? Lost Hills! <laughs> we fill up here all the time. Uh, we are not doing too good on time. I don't think I can make it to the drop. Uh, that accident right there on that truck route going uh, past Valencia. Right now my drive and where I need to go 60 miles per hour is identical. And we still gotta get to the loves, which is gonna eat another six, seven minutes. So I gotta see a plan B. Uh, if we can go 65 the whole way, sure we can make it. But I'm not sure if we can. But we got a line in there. We got 30 minutes on our 14 before that starts running. Is this line seriously? Oh my God, look at this line. Shit. <laughs> Might have to take a 30 here. <laughs> All right, we'll let you guys know. Here's another view of the sunset up here. Uh, we're on the 152 right now. Just got on. Uh, this head's right. I didn't have a chance to uh, look, but I got an eyeball of street parking, so it's gonna be one of those things where just I'm just gonna wing it and 
hope for the best. Uh, I just didn't have time to look exactly for everything, so. Uh, still thinking I might exit where that Home Depot DC is and park on the shoulder for a little bit, scope this out, because that is my hiding spot, is that Home Depot DC. So I'm not sure yet. Still trying to figure it out, but enjoy this beautiful sunset.